hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we are talking Dyson it just arrived and honestly I really want to see how it worked and if it was great because you guys know I have the um, a couple of the other Dysons and uh, for your hair so yeah let's talk about it this is kind of like in you know a first impression and unboxing all together <laughs> okay it came in this box Ooh. fancy not really it's just cardboard actually <laughs> some of the other Dysons of course come in you know these big containers and these leather it type of containers and they're beautiful I love them they're pretty but this comes in cardboard, which is just fine. But this, this is pretty. Okay, trying to get everything open was a deal. It was an ordeal. <laughs> All right, and then, I'm assuming this is the case. Okay, it's a velvety, that is not a case. Huh. Okay. So it doesn't come with a case. Okay. I'm assuming maybe this is heat resistant and we will find out if this is what we set it on while we use it, which I assume so. Can we first just say how beautiful this is and their little lock technology? You open it, close it. Dyson has pretty machines. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to briefly talk about it at the beginning. I'm not going to do the whole rundown because basically you want to see if it works. <laughs> and then I'll give the whole rundown. That's what I've decided to do. So I will tell you it does retail for $4.99 without a case, <laughs> which is fine. Um, okay. What does it say? It says you can enable or disable idle mode in the settings menu. Turn your machine on. Okay, let's unlock it and turn the machine on. All of this good stuff right here is what we're going to be using. If you could see the design. It's pretty purple goldish type of thing going on here right here it looks uh, very different than the flat iron so okay press and hold the mold select button so let me turn it on first see the red button Or maybe not. Nope, it's not the red button. It's the button that looks like every other on button. And it comes up and it says this little thing says Dyson. And I plugged it in. All right. And press and hold the mode select button for three seconds to enter settings. And the mode button is this one right here. Press and hold the most select button for three seconds. One, two, three. To enter settings. This is settings. And then use the cool mode button to toggle on and off. The cool mode button is this blue one. It's a light blue. It's cool blue. <laughs> all right let's see oh I tap that and it says for English and then it says idle mode may cause lights to dim okay oh there we go 
that caught me a little bit off. <laughs> so it's 285 or I can change it. Your machine automatically drops to lower airflow between passes for easy styling. After three seconds, if you're not using it, it goes into idle mode and just move it again for the airflow to start again. Idle mode disabled. Your machine maintains your selected level of airflow throughout styling. Okay, so you can enable idle mode where your machine automatically drops to lower airflow between passes for easy styling or your machine can be on idle mode disabled where it maintains your selected level of airflow throughout styling. Okay, so it starts off in idle mode enabled is really the lower airflow starting off and then it increases at the end. That's what they show on the paper. So see that top one is idle flow enabled. The bottom one is idle flow disabled. So on here it says pause. It doesn't say pause, it has the pause button for the airflow icon. And okay, so that's all it gives me on here. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. It says quick start guide. I thought that's what I was reading, but obviously I wasn't. And yes, this is for me to set it on while I'm using it, which is very nice, of course. It goes from 175 to 285. So I'm gonna do the middle at 230. And this is what you change it with the red button. Okay, let's start in the front and see what happens. I guess I'm going to start off with this small piece right here and I will comb through it. All I have on my hair is I washed it, conditioned it, and I have a heat protectant on there and that's it. So, and my hair is so short because <laughs> I sort of butchered it about eight months ago. I cut it about this short at the top and just got all the coloring out. So that's why you haven't seen me doing the hair videos really because I'm kind of waiting for it to all to get more or less to about the same, you know, length. <laughs> all right, but I haven't, I wasn't doing any videos, I guess, so that doesn't count. All right, so let's start and see what happens. I'm going to dry the top part with this part a little bit so you close it. Okay. turned it back down because I want to try something else guys because I think I was doing it the wrong way
Okay, yeah, I was doing it the wrong way. The air is not supposed to be going this way. It's supposed to be going this way. Um, and I'm trying to get my ends. My, Yeah, so let's do another piece and, yeah, get it together so that you guys can have a real idea of how good this is for your hair. Okay. Let me do another piece starting the right way. Just all these different layers, guys. Just ridiculous. <laughs> Turning it back to 285. Let's do a bigger piece and see what happens. a smaller piece. Like this.
Gonna go back down to 230. Let's turn it up to 285. So I just switched it to the dry mode. Now let's see what it does now that this part is dry. And I have it on 285. Okay, what do I think? Um, so, the Dyson Air Straight is a wet to dry straightening with air. No hot plates, no heat damage. Powerful directional airflow smooths and aligns hair. It says no e heat damage with a caveat when used in wet to dry mode. So they're not claiming that for just the dry mode, which is interesting. It's for a natural straight finish. That keep They keep saying that in the commercials type of demo, demonstrations that I noticed. Okay. Does it work? Yes, it works. Um, I need to clip my ends on some of these. But it's just not straightening out these edges. Straightened out this one, which means that as long as your ends are clipped, per se, then it does straighten it out a bit. So if you can see. But this certainly doesn't straighten like the Dyson Corral. They're they're flat iron. Um, I think it did good with my ends up here. Or my roots, rather. 
is it is it better than a flat iron no but it's not supposed to necessarily be better than a flat iron it's supposed to be for a natural straight finish so it's not a straight finish but a natural straight finish so the natural texture of my hair is supposed to show through and that is the key with this this is not supposed to give me a silk press or a bone straight finish according to them it's supposed to be the, a natural straight finish which i guess this is a natural straight finish for me um is it soft yeah except when i get to my ends it just really didn't straighten even my when these are freshly cut ends even when i even when i um went over them a few times it didn't really straighten straighten my ends which is a problem of course but again going back to that natural straight finish um do i think this is for my texture hair they say it's for all texture hair however is this is this what i'm picking up when i want my hair to be straightened no, <laughs> I don't know why I would pick this up, to be honest. I think the only benefit, the biggest benefit is the fact that it straightens from, not straighten, uh, but it, the no heat damage. But to be honest, um, I could get this same feel with a blowout with a good blowout better probably finish with a good blowout you're probably using their hair dryer but of course yes you're putting heat protectant on and there may be some heat damage um or not um but yeah i I would say that this isn't something I would use for my hair to get it straight. I'm when I want to straighten my hair, I want a nice smooth texture. I'm I'm not looking for a more of a blow dry finish, which this is this is um it's a I, I would yeah, I would bring it to more of a blow dry finish. And you could probably get a better finish with the blow dryer. <laughs> Just make sure you put heat protectant on it. So, yeah. Yeah, I, um, it's a flat iron that is not a flat iron. <laughs> if you want a natural, smooth texture without, not smooth. I wouldn't, yeah, this part is smooth, but as you get to the ends, it doesn't get smooth. So I would say a, uh, a, a natural, more natural, straight look that you don't have to flat iron, but you could just do it with a blow dryer too and use your dimming brush or a round brush or something of that nature. Yeah, I guess the biggest, biggest benefit to this is the fact that, of course, you don't get any of that smell that... Um, that burnt smell or anything of that nature no this this is this does get hot like don't put your hands on that this gets hot definitely um and there's no way to use the comb to see if it'll flatten it out more because the air is going down on its hot air <laughs> so um yeah this wouldn't be a product that i would use maybe some other people would find it beneficial but for my hair type when I'm going for a straight look, I'm going for a straight, sleek look and not a less than good blow dry look. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but the technology is cool. And I will say for 3C hair, my type of hair, yeah, I just, I this wouldn't be useful for me for what I would be looking for when I'm going for a straighter texture and yeah but um I hope that helps you guys figure out if it's something you're looking 
to uh, use or not or take advantage of. But yeah, this is a cool gadget. I think it's neat. I think it's very Dyson. I just... I just don't think it's for me. Yeah. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Yeah, guys. I mean, I saw the pictures. And none of the um, black women that they showed with textured hair was sh like straight and smooth and I'm like oh maybe they're doing that on purpose or maybe they just didn't finish it yet or <laughs> no that's you're looking for a natural look I guess that's what they're saying for our hair texture it's not supposed to be s flat iron looking so this um this is still soft and it's straight did it straighten my hair yeah um, but just not in the manner that I'm looking for. That's all. Okay, guys, I just used my spray bottle to re-wet this part just to make sure that I'm not missing something. So I'm going to try it one more time and the hair is, is, is wet, wet. Turning up to 285. Let's try this piece just starting at 285. It's like a okay blow dryer finish um, because it's still rough at the ends. So let's see if I go over it one more time. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's rough at the ends a bit. Yeah, so okay. Yeah, I tried it again just to make sure that, you know, I didn't mess anything up. Yeah, it's a it's a it 
you've had good blow dries where, oh yeah, my hair actually, you know, is straight like this. You can get this in a blow dry. Um, <clears throat> and my ends are, are rough. Yeah. So yeah, it's just, it's not a product for me per se, but, uh, it may be a product for you. So yeah, I wanted to give it another try just to make sure I didn't miss anything that, but does it straighten my curly hair? Yes, it does straighten my curly hair. And again, it's, it's like a, um, less than good blow dry or a okay blow dry. Yeah. Without heat damage though. 